Hello everyone, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you tips and tricks I learned throughout the years on how to keep my cute straight and short lashes curled on day. Tip number one, wrap your lashes. If you have oily eyelids, you need to powder before using any product because the oil will break down any products you put on faster. Please close your eyes when putting the powder on. Then swipe off the excess. I use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. You can also put some on your lid and under eye area so the powder can help prevent smudging later on. Tip number two, do not curl or apply mascara in a place that has a lot of moisture like your bathroom after you just shower because the moisture in the air will make your lashes go down faster. Tip number three, choose the right color if you think any color can get you the same result you are totally wrong let me show you how the color can make a really big difference for example i have this color from sephora it fits my eye shape really well but it didn't do a good job at curling i need to put a lot of pressure and pump it so many times And here's the result. On my other eye, I used the one from Shiseido. Less pressure, less pumping, but better result. Choosing the right color will make a whole world different. I know it's really hard to find the one that fits you perfectly. I tried a few and found the one that can give me the most perfect curl that I have got but it doesn't perfectly fit my eye shape just a little bit wider but it's okay I just learned how to work with it while still hunting for the perfect fit for my eye shape and I really recommend this curler if you are looking for a good one Tip number 4, warm up the curler Just like you use the heat from a hair color to create a curl your lashes are basically hairs too. After warming up, it can get really hot, so make sure to check the temperature before curling the lashes. Don't put it on your eye right away, or you will get burned. It just needs to be warm enough to hold the curl. Tip number five, curl the lashes. Of course, we cannot ignore this most important step, right? If you have short and straight lashes like mine, you will miss this technique to master your lash game. You should place the color in the position where it can catch all of the lashes and really close to the roots. Carefully not to pinch yourself. You can lift up the lid with your finger or using the color. Gently press it against your lip and lift up until you see all of the lashes and pump it. Just put enough pressure. You don't want to break the lashes or cut it in half, right? And you shouldn't feel any pain during this process. If you do, just release and reposition the color. And sometimes the color cannot reach the lashes at your inner or outer corner. It's okay, you just need to place the corner of the curler at the corner of your eye and curl it. Repeat a few times with the rest of the lashes until you are satisfied with the curl. Tip number 6, set the lashes. After taking the color out, I put my finger under my eye, then close my eye and hold it there for a few seconds until the lashes completely cool down and set into place. Here's the before and after curling. Tip number 7, use the mascara primer. With Asian straight lashes, Mascara primer is a must, especially when you live in a very humid place. Put the primer on right after curling the lashes. It helps your lashes stay put on day. And I love using this from Etude, the Dr. Mascara Fixer. Tip number eight, choose the waterproof mascara instead of the washable one. Waterproof mascara gives your lashes the best chance to hold up against humidity, tears, and sweat. Besides, it holds the curl so much better. 
I recommend the The Cover Girl Lash Plus Volume Waterproof Mascara. This is the best mascara I use from the drugstore. I know sometimes waterproof mascara is really hard to remove, so you can use an oil-based makeup remover to remove it. I use the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm from Clinic. This is the best makeup remover on the market in my opinion. It transforms from a solid balm into silky oil upon application. Gently massage the balm over your eye area and all of the face, then rinse it with warm water. It will remove all of the makeup. Tip number 9. Choose a mascara with a dry formula instead of a wet one. A wet mascara will weigh down your lashes just a few minutes after putting on and take a long time to dry. For example, I apply the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara on my lashes and after 5 minutes, you can see my lashes just straight out. Therefore, you should look for a mascara with a dry formula. It will be lighter for your lashes and better with holding the curl. And last but not least, tip number 10, apply mascara in a thin layer first. When taking the wand out, just wipe off the product, then apply. And I'm telling you, you don't need that much product. If you want another coat, you can build up slowly. This can also help to prevent the lashes from clumping and sticking to each other. Now let's look at the result before and after applying mascara. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys find this video helpful and can learn a thing or two. Please like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And see you in my next one. Bye!